This is New York City, and tomorrow I'm competing in one of the world's hardest fitness races with pretty much no training. So why the f am I doing this? This is Milo. Say hello, Milo. Hi. About three months ago, he messaged me. Do I want to do my first ever high rocks? So I said, yeah. I said, where is it? He said, New York. We got on a flight and now we're here. I haven't done a lot of training, but it's going to be fun. So tomorrow we're competing in our first ever high rocks. Well, his second ever high rocks. This is going to be fun. I'll see you boys tomorrow morning. But before I see you tomorrow, we've got a hell of a lot of carbs to eat. And there is no better place to do it than New York City. As an experience, everyone needs to have a hot. Oh my god, they're so much better hot, aren't they? Carb loading, let's go. Oh, mate. Right boys, so it is 5.45 in the morning. As you can see, I'm all kitted out, looking like an absolute worker. And we have got our first ever high rocks in about just over two hours time. It starts at eight o'clock, I believe. We're about to go down, meet Milo now. We're gonna get a check-in, we're gonna get a coffee, all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, a little bit nervous, too fair. This video is gonna be filmed by my mum, all right? So, if this is a little bit of dodgy recording, you can blame her. I'm gonna get down there and then yeah, wish me luck boys. See you later. I don't know if you can hear me, but we are here at the High Rock. How are you feeling? A bit tight. I feel like I, I've slept. Concrete. Boys, there is a lot of um, jacked individuals, a lot of people who are sipping on the Ribena, on the juice, on the Captain Sun. We're gonna come here, we're gonna give it our all. So wish me luck boys. Let's fucking do this thing. And so it began. My first ever high rocks in the blistering heat. Luckily, I was near the pier side, so it was a little bit breezy, but the heat was absolutely pounding down on me, and I knew this was gonna be a very hard day out. First one kilometer run went absolutely easy. Genuinely, just like any other run, I was excited. The adrenaline took me over. But then we got to the first station, which was the ski. And this was where things started to get hard. And I know it sounds crazy because it was our first machine machine but I went a little bit too crazy. I was going full out on this machine and I kind of tired myself out so as soon as we started running again I was like shit I've got to do this whole thing another seven times I really don't know if I can do that and I genuinely had doubts in my head already but obviously I wasn't going to give up then. I followed my partner Milo and we just kept running around. We then got to the second station which was the sled push and this was genuinely really easy. Like we did this like, I think we came fourth out of like 5,000 people on the day. We literally went through this really easy. So I was super happy with that. Then we were on to another one kilometer run, which genuinely was starting to get a little bit easier because I was feeling quite happy after we did that big sled push. But then we got to the sled pool and I was being an absolute donut on this. I genuinely didn't know what I was doing. I just walked behind Milo and it found out that I was actually meant to be the other side waiting for Milo and then once I started pulling it, I wasn't pulling it inside the lines, don't tell anyone, but the moderator told me off and then he let me off, but I was being an absolute idiot with that. So luckily, that station went okay. Then we came on to the hardest part of the day, burpee broad jumps. If you have never done these before, you do not understand the pain that you are about to go through. This is essentially just doing a burpee, but you have to do like, I don't know what the actual length is, let's just call it like 200 meters for now, but you have to just burpee jump across the entire track and it was absolutely disgusting in the heat. My heart rate was absolutely through the roof, but we got through it and we got on to the next part of the run. I was feeling quite confident to be fair. I didn't know how quick we were going. I didn't know what pace we were going and I genuinely was just there to finish it. I just wanted to just get it done. The next station was rowing. This was kind of a walk in the park to be fair. We absolutely smashed this out straight off the rowing, straight into the next run, still going smooth and we made it on to the farmer's carry. On the farmer's carry, apart from the fact that I looked like a jacked motherfucker on this, I realized I was being a complete idiot. For this first bit, I walked, and then Milo ran, and then I thought, wait, I can run too, so then I ran. So we missed a lot, a little bit of time on that bit, but it was nothing too crazy. Then we got on straight back onto another 1K run, and then we had lunges, which was absolutely disgusting. 
disgusting. Now, if you haven't noticed so far, a duo race means that you can tag in and out of each other the entire race. So as soon as I get tired, I can tag Milo in, and as soon as Milo gets tired, he can tag me in. Obviously, this doesn't apply to the actual running. You both have to do the entire running length. You can't just tag in like halfway through the run. You both need to run the eight kilometers. But on the stations, you can tag in and out. So on the lunges bit, you can see that we were just tagging on in each other out, running after this, was so damn hard. Genuinely one of the hardest things. Like imagine running with the fattest leg pump of all time. That doesn't sound very fun, does it? And that left us onto the very last station, wall balls. Now this is extremely difficult. You have to do 100 wall balls, which is where you do a squat and throw this ball up onto that little thing that you can see. And you have to make sure you hit it directly. Otherwise you do not get a point and it does not count towards your 100 wall balls. And if you do not hit squat depth, that does also not count towards your 100 wall balls. So they are very strict on this and it is very difficult. So Milo started off first. I think he did about 30 and then I went, I did about 30, 40 or something. And then Milo finished it off. And then straight after that, you run straight over to the podium my mum didn't get some very good footage of this but that means we did finish our race and we finished with a time of one hour one minute and 53 seconds which we were genuinely over the moon about i genuinely could not believe this because the world record is 50 minutes and don't get me wrong we were still like 11 minutes off the world record but like that is crazy to me genuinely i did not go into this with a lot of training so i don't know what i was expecting but i definitely wasn't expecting to get one hour and one minute so i was genuinely completely over the moon with this the average time for a duo hyrox is one hour 30 so to get one hour and one minute it was just genuinely absolutely amazing you can see my reaction here one hour one minute how do you feel <laughs> That was my first High Rocks. It was a genuinely awesome experience. I loved every second of it, and I highly recommend you give this a go with your friend because it really was a fun challenge and just a nice day out, to be honest. So thank you so much for watching, boys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I've got some crazy videos coming up, so make sure to stay tuned.